What's up guys, you're looking at a 1982 Jeep CJ7. It's lifted uh, four inches and uh, we're gonna go through it right now in detail, everything that it has, everything that's been done to it. Uh, this vehicle is for sale right now. That's part of the reason we're making this video. So uh, check it out, it's a pretty cool rig. My buddy Joel uh, got it, it was all original and he did all this work, um, most of it himself. So uh, it's been a good project. It has been on the Rubicon, uh, awesome Jeep. So Joel, let's start with the motor. Uh, what's it got? What have you done to it? Maybe let's pop this hood up. It's, uh, it's got a 4.2 carbureted inline six cylinder. It's um, got a new fuel pump on it, filter, serpentine belt, uh, rear main seal was just done, oil pan gasket, um, had to put a new brake booster on it, master cylinder, um, new freeze plugs, intake and exhaust manifold gaskets, fuel, um, oil pressure center has been replaced, starter, flywheel, clutch, Throw out bearing. Um, what else has been done to the motor? Oh, carburetor's been rebuilt. Um, as far as the motor, I think that's that covers most of it. Yeah. Never had any problems with it overheating or anything. It no. did great out on the trail. Ran great. Lots of low-end torque. Runs real smooth on the road. It's a manual five-speed. And uh. I think you said transfer case. Transfer case and transmission that were just rebuilt and all resealed. There's nice. not a drop of oil leaking on this thing. Nice. Um, what kind of tires you got on here? I got brand new. They've maybe got 500 miles on them. Uh, 32, 1150 Goodyear Wrangler mud terrain, the Kevlar's. Beefy tread. And you have five of them. You got a spare tire yeah, on the spares back. Spares matching. So what lift is on here? It's got a four inch um, rough country. Um, spring lift, um, all new um, nitro shocks, the Nitro 2000s, I think they're called. Um, it's got extended sway bar links, um, extended brake lines, stainless, um, nice. drop transfer case mounts. Um, let's see, a uh, new muffler was just put on it. But as far as the lift, uh, drop hitman arm. I mean, the obvious. And it just passed California Smog. Yep. No the problem there. Colors. And uh, drop Pitman arm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Drag bar. Oh, all new tie steering. Rod. All new steering tie rods. Um, tie rod ends. Drag link. Uh, new hardware oh, on yeah, all the springs. Hardware. What else was that? And it's just got the original gears in it. It's a good looking rig. Brakes are all fine all the way around on it. Um, it looks like it's the original paint. Yeah. No, no body work, real straight. Doesn't even have dings in it. And it looks like it's got a CD MP3 player, JVC. Dash is in good shape. Original wheel, so much original stuff in it. Original door panels. It's got the soft top on it right now, but he's got a hard top for it. There's your four wheel drive. And, uh, and I, I have all the original springs and everything if somebody was to want to retro it back. Yeah. And I mean, the seats are, are good as far as like the actual structure of them, just that driver's seat could use some upholstery, but other than that, man, they look really good, it looks clean. Back seat folds down and just pulls out real easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it pulls out, I don't know if it folds down, I don't think it does, it just pulls yeah. out. Yeah, a couple six by nines in the back, got the pads around the roll bar. Um, I don't know if I said it's got new valve cover and valve cover gasket. And it's dry, huh? It doesn't leak anything. No, there's no oil anywhere. That was a big, big part of what I did. Yeah, we 
most of it, man. That's yeah, good looking Jeep, bro. And you also get this hard top with uh, good glass in all three windows. The rear one opens up, of course. And right now we're in the process of installing fresh weather stripping on all the bottom edges that'll meet with the body. Even this back piece here.